Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x plus xy plus y, this is equal to 54. What is the value of x plus y? Now, let's prevent the solution from here. Now, we have x plus xy plus y, this is equal to 54. Now, from this particular part here, you find that x is common here, so we can factor out x so that we have x into the parentheses. This is 1 plus y. Now, here we have plus y. This is equal to 54. Now, to factor out here, we have that 1 plus y, and also we should have an y that is 1 plus y. So to fact out this algebra equation, we need to add 1 on this side and also we need to add 1 on the right hand side. So that now here we have x into the parentheses, this is 1 plus y, then plus, this is the same thing as 1, into the parentheses, here we have 1 plus y, this is equal to 54 plus 1. This is 55. The next step from here, we have x plus 1. And we have that 1 plus 1 is common here. We factor out 1 plus y. Now since 1 plus y is common, we factor out 1 plus y. This is equal to 55. Now, something to note here, we have that x plus 1, this is greater or equal to, this should be greater than 1, and also we have that 1 plus y, this should be greater or equal to 1. So in this case, in this case, we have x plus 1, then y, 1 plus y, this is equal to 55. Let's get the prime factors of 55. So we have 55 times 1. Then we have 1 times 55. Then we have 11 times 5. And we have that 5 times 11. Remember here, we have that x and y. These are members of positive integers. And that x is greater than 0 and that y is greater than 0. So these conditions, these conditions actually need to be upheld. So let's proceed. So here we have 11 times 5 and 5 times 11. But the condition is that x plus 1 is greater or equal to 1. So the first set of value that is 55 times 1 this violates the condition here and 1 times 55 also this violates the condition so you only have two cases here this is the first case and this is the second case so let's start solve case 1 for case 1 here we have x plus 1 Multiplying by 1 plus y, this is equal to 11 times 5. So this implies that x plus 1, this is equal to 11, and 1 plus y, this is equal to 5. Now, from the first part here, we have that x is equal to 11 minus 1. And this implies that x is equal to 10. Then here we have 1 plus y, this is equal to 5. So this implies that y is equal to 5 minus 1. So that y is equal to 4. So from case 1, this implies that x plus y, this is equal to 10 plus 4. So here we have 14 x plus y is equal to 14 for the first case case one 
let's proceed to case 2 let's solve case 2 here in case 2 we have x plus 1 multiplied by 1 plus y this is equal to 5 times 11 now this implies that we have x plus 1 this is equal to 5 and this implies that x is equal to 5 minus 1 so x is equal to 4 the second part is 1 plus y this is equal to 11 so this implies that y is equal to 11 minus 1 so y is equal to 10 so this implies that x plus y this is equal to 4 plus 10 this is equal to 14 now the next step here from case 1 we have that the, the value of x that is x1 y1 this is equal to 10 comma 4 and from case 2 here from case 2 here we have that x2 comma y2 this is equal to 4 comma 10 so let's verify that these two set of solutions satisfies the equation let's verify now if you recall if you recall here we end that x plus x y then plus y this should give us a value of 54 substituting x1 y1 which is 10 and 4 this implies that x here is 10 plus x will have 10 times 4 so we have x 10 plus x y this is 10 times 4 then plus y which is 4 they should give us a value of 54 so this is 10 plus 10 times 4 this is 40 then plus 4 they should give us a value of 54 therefore we have 10 plus 40 this is 50 plus 4 this should give us a value of 54 so 50 plus 4 this is 54 which is equal to 54 so this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side so let's check x2 and y2 if this satisfies the equation as follows now x2 y2 this is 4 comma 10 so let's verify <coughs> so we have that x plus x y plus y this should give us a value of 54 let's substitute the value of x and y here so we have 4 plus x times y that is 4 times 10 10 plus y which is 10 this should give us a value of 54 so here we have 4 plus 4 times 10 this is 40 10 plus 10 they should give us a value of 54 so this is 4 plus 40 which is 44 plus 10 we are seeing this is 44 plus 10 this should give us a value of 54 so here we, we have 44 plus 10 this is 54 